So spirits are high backstage. Rob's an optimist. I'm a happy clapper. Let's see how we feel come Sunday at five. Four. It's the weekend, oh, boys. Boys, I've been just like counting down the days, man. You know, I was thinking as well. I want a new sign on thing. I'm getting bored of good morning, good evening, and night. So, chat. Yeah, I'll, nice. I'll leave it to you. I'll leave it to you. Who, who can come up with the best one? It's got to be kind of hey, Jim Carrey link, though. It's got to, what? No, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, me, no, not to go far. It's always, yeah, I'll yeah, not. I don't even, nah, 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 nah. he's not one of our own, so you can't do that. Uh, anyway, there's, there's... Anyway, what are you on about? Rob's an optimist, Ben uh, Crypto <laughs> thought he was an optometrist. optometrist <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It must what be that it? haircut, crypto. It must I be know, that. Yeah. I, had a, I had a bad hair day. I got run over by the lawnmower. Or oh, Rob's bus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have said us anything. You might have got away with it in the chat. You never know. <laughs> and they're all saying stick with, stick with it. Really? You guys like that? A little Jim Carrey going on. Rob, I got to say, man, that reveal of your chair, mm, that, that was very old shocking. Chair. I've covered it up for the viewers' benefit, and now you're making me feel awkward about it. <laughs> Well, you should feel awkward about it. it. It gave me just OCD looking at it. Hey, so, catfish, you can't old, talk. It's a very old chair. <laughs> Too much PUBG on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you're, well, you're saying to crypto, the crypto cut. Should we call it that? The crypto yeah. cut. But... Oh, yeah. I mean, Mr. Mr. Ginge Catfish over here, you know. He's changed his name. What happened to Cat? Look how serious he looks in that picture, man. It's a little. I would say it's no, 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 uh preview and jordan the absolute late. jordan how's your mum doing thank you so much for the 199 hey boys hope all of you are good you reds you reds indeed i hope your mum's doing better do you want to put some context on that he just says um jordan how's your mum put some context on it man because otherwise Why, everyone's gonna just trying to chat up his mom. <laughs> i wasn't being weird that comment was weird uh, the chat knows she's been, been in the hospital. I think she's been a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> you lot are weird, man. Seriously. He's no, no, been no, in the hospital. Me. No, don't bring me into this. <laughs> uh -uh. Wait, who's been with me or Ez? You. Ez. No. Ez. Ez is. Yeah, who's no, been with me or Ez? Right, okay. I'm genuinely oh, asking right, about right. how his mum's doing. And like Ez is going to... It's the way the you hospital. said it. It's just where you said it, sorry. Yeah, but it's okay. where you heard it. It didn't ring to be fair. <laughs> Weird. Look, Tom's got the right idea. It's the Felipe. Oh, he's, the <laughs> he's got rid of the man bun. <laughs> he's got rid of the man. Exactly. Rob, you had to shave it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. Why are you yeah. the freaking Wolverine? you got to shave seven times a day now. Not no, me or any other Wolverine. Look, it's all for See? the benefit of the viewers. There's the context. That's what I was asking for. Context. Where is the context? Yeah, but why would you have to make it weird? Thank you. I'm no, glad no, to no, hear no, that. No, and no, I apologize no, for Ez, no. Jordan. Send your mum my love no, and yeah, Ant's best love best and Cryptos best. and Rubs. And definitely not Ez's love. No, but no, it's no. good to hear. Do you know what no. kind of love it would be if it was Ez? <laughs> yeah, weird love. Weird love. Yeah. Weird don't love. Do that. No, don't make it into that. No. You already I, made I, it into it. Let, Mohammed, I put on I put on the blue blocker glasses today just to make myself seem well. I do anyway, more intelligent than these lot. But you know, seem, just seem just for the viewers. Yeah. Oh God, Rob's got oh God. He looks more Alistair Campbell <laughs> and and just looks blind. <laughs> yeah, it would uh, be Zara. I enough. literally can't find mine. Cryptos, cryptos actually work. They do make him look smart. It's because oh once God. you're at this level of dumb, you can't get any stupider, man. Like, no, look, look could definitely be up. deceptive. All right, should, should we talk like about football and stuff, boys, seeing that there's people watching? Yeah. What, what, what do you think? I don't I'm, know. In a, I'm in a positive, optimistic mood. Yeah, what are you saying, is everyone Chris? else? Is everyone else in the chat in that positive mood? Because I am as well. I'm feeling it, mate. It's been a long, I'll hard be week. in a more positive mood. When we start actually winning some games of football and moving from fourth from bottom, yeah, yeah, yeah sorry about that. Don't, don't worry about it, it's probably not reality. Happen. You know, oh, I looked man. at, I, I watched the Predictor League earlier on, and it's, I think it's it's six. Is it six or seven results it has? 
-hmm. the last six or seven results. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's one win for Forest. Perfect. Mm, not per not per and, and you should listen to <laughs> KM. Stay positive. Wait, Anne, are you being negative? Absolutely. No, 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 no. I'm not being no, negative. I, I, I'm not being negative because I, you know, I'm I'm really up for this game on Sunday. I just need to see us start actually turning performances into results. That's all. And and dare I ask what Matt says here? Of course, he so. said, no, silly. He said, no, silly. He's not asking the question. He's, he's putting a statement. He's putting a statement. A full stop after it as well. I'm with Nick, right? I'm optimistic until we lose. Right? I've got <laughs> Liverpool in my rear view. I can't see with these glasses on. They're coming. All right. <sighs> I got Liverpool in the rear view mirror. Um, I feel like Rob's still depressed from Liverpool. No, no you, 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 you're over angry. It. Not depressed, angry. I was already uh, at acceptance by Sunday night, as I said. <laughs> um, I think what we need now is the backlash. The only thing is that Brighton are now 11 games unbeaten at home. So I don't think you can right. really call it a must win. Are they? I would take a point from that. Definitely. Um, I'm going to check the stats Why are you going to bring the mood like, down? Why are you bringing the stats down? That, that can't realism. be true. That can't be true. That can't be true. Well, that's I'm what... A, I'm a, I'm a, oh, you're talking in all comps? No, in the league. No, nah. No. Nah. How many games have no, no, they played in the league? Oh. Right. I, I read that on the BBC, so it may be wrong. Hey, oh, that's your first mistake, mate. Exactly. It may be at home. Hang on a second. Hang on. They drew against Everton at home on the 24th. Well, that I would still make them undefeated. Yeah. Okay. Now, chat. Someone check that out. Someone check yeah, that out. Come on, you oh, really it. I read it on the BBC. I can already see that it was wrong. So I'm trying to work out what it was. <laughs> <laughs> trying to work out what it was that I, it, it might have been at home or something. I can't. Yeah, yeah, they're they're not even at home. They're not eleven. They're they're at home. home. I mean, great. They're no, shit. Then great. We're gonna win. Excellent. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, the lovely crazy cat. 18 months. Bloody hell, crazy cat lady. Where has that gone? 18 months. Thank you so much. You're a legend. Okay. So after Rob's political lies, okay, and let's establish <laughs> that they uh, they are not true. And as Simon says, go check out our sofa score, guys. And someone tell me. Sofa score will tell you. Download it. Links somewhere right, in the chat. Right, here we go. Brighton are yeah. on a club record 11-match unbeaten home run in the top flight. So it's at home. Yeah, but they've just yeah, been getting draws. Right. They've just been drawing all the time. Well, okay, it's uh, five wins Ooh. and six draws. That is correct. Yeah. So, therefore, I think a draw is not a bad result. You know, no one else correct. has beaten them in the last 11 home games. So what are you saying? I'm saying there's a chance. <laughs> no, I'm saying that I would take a point from that game. I'm t I would take a point from that game. Obviously, we'll be going for all three. I don't think we're going to set up like Cooper did last season and, and grind it out. I don't think it would be any more negative than that. No, can we, we, need, we need all three points. Otherwise, we're muffin We do. We do. Can we, can we just take a second to raise our glass to my, my BFF, Eddie? He's back. Eddie's back. <laughs> Wait, where's my forest there? Raise your glasses to the legend of Eddie. My exodus has been too long. Other it's channels have killed me. <laughs> FF TV rules. Welcome back, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie, man, I, I need Eddie. to know. Self-enforced, but good time. I, I, need, I need to know with Eddie, right? Does he make his tweets up or does he just nick them? Like, sometimes I think, oh, bloody hell, Eddie. He and definitely gets them written for him. That's quite funny. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. If you're not following Eddie on, on Twitter... Make sure you're following Eddie. Um, Eddie, put your thing in, in there. It's yeah, put your uh, thing in there. <laughs> some of his tweets. Man. Yeah, I have to read them three times sometimes, and then I'm like, oh, no, it's actually quite funny, especially coming from Eddie. But good to have you back, Eddie. And we've hey, had Eddie, Keith Eddie makes me laugh every day. Every day he makes me smile with his with his yeah. jokes that he puts on. There's they one are, they are your star yeah. jokes. Eddie Boland. I don't know if it's going to oh. what's, what's, what's um, his handler? I've just, just checked uh, Brighton's results and they have drawn a lot against yeah. the, the lower teams. They have yeah. drawn they a lot. Lost since August, man. And that was to West Ham. Yeah. I didn't realise that because, they, they, you know, they get hammered every now and again, don't they? So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so, well, so are we saying Rob wasn't lying? We're saying Rob got it right. right. Well, no, yeah, we yeah, think yeah, right. Rob's sources were right for once. That's what we're saying. Yeah, so yeah, we, yeah. Now use, we now me. use sofa score to check whether the BBC is correct. That well, is yeah, of course. I have, I have, I have. It's confirmed. 
it's confirmed. Of course. But it it, it of surprised course. me because I, I've, I've been thinking for quite a while, you know, Brian at home are not so good. Just but Brighton in checked, general haven't been good, but... It's, yeah, 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 yeah right. But it's because yeah, they right. draw a lot at home to the yeah. likes of West Ham, Fulham, um, Everton. Well, the last the people was to West Ham when I was in August. They've had a few close shaves there as well. I'm going to just have oh, yeah. a quick look yeah. now. But there was one the other week where it was like went down to the last second, I think. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. But, I mean, fair play, okay. Oh, wait, wait. I've just realised something, right? How come the only white person... Well, what there's only one white person on here with a beard. Crypto, you're bucking the trend a little. Because, 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 I know, <laughs> because my beard, my beard is like white, so I have to uh -huh. shave. Yeah. I always and, shave before I come on screen. I'd make you like a Aryan, then if you had too much white, is that what you say? <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> And looks like Gandalf when he when he grows his beard. Out. <laughs> I don't know. Do you, chat, would you like to see Ant grow his beard out? How many the likes would that take, Ant? How many likes would that take? The problem is, no, no, like, how many it, years would that it take, makes Ant? Feel uncomfortable. Uh, you know, oh, it what feels a pussy. Itchy what a pussy. <laughs> if I shave, if I shave my beard off, I just look like a fat baby. <laughs> now you just look like a hairy fat baby man, is what you're <laughs> and are you all right I, I gotta say right this is the line i hate when blokes say this yeah <laughs> oh, i tried to grow my beard out but it got itchy yeah. is that what you're yeah, saying here is that what you're saying yeah it's one of the reasons also the fact it's that the it's, it's virtually white it doesn't itch makes though, me look, obviously it. you know it, it, it's not the best look on a, a young man you know what i mean so no but what about um, on you uh, also, also, it's a bit oh, patchy as well. Nice I can't grow a nice beard. You know, if I could, I might give it a go, but it just looks... Is it patchy? Yeah. Cat weasel. You know cat weasel? <laughs> 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 I, get more, I get more of a cat weasel vibe. Yeah, cat weasel. <laughs> Isn't it like Harold Shipman? <laughs> <laughs> no, Harold Shipman got a better beard. Well, had a better beard than I can get. <laughs> he had a decent beard, to be fair. That's the good, only good thing about him. <laughs> yeah, how, how many how many of the blokes or the ladies in the chat are cleanly shaven Just why are we talking fresh? about Harold Shipman? I don't know man alright let's talk about football alright I don't know it is it's, this rub, it's a rubber thing I'm telling you it's a rubber thing what alright let, let's, let's get into I, it okay. I introduced some actual information there yeah yeah but we didn't believe you because it's you and then it turned out it was true so <laughs> it's thrown us a little Right, so yeah, it, that's, what, that's yeah. what politicians do. They put the odd bit of truth in amongst yeah. all the lies. Yeah. So they can turn around know, and say, look, see, he's, he's right. Do you know, I, 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 would I cannot call... be described as a politician if I've never been elected, right? So I'm just a member of the public. Thank you. You're, you're a wannabe right. politician. Yeah. You, you know that message? <laughs> Wait, hold on. On this, on Chris, right? I would call him whipped, but my missus hates it if I ever go cleanly shaven. She, like, won't really? come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've yeah, always yeah. found the opposite. I've always found the opposite. Let, yeah. Ladies in the chat, ladies in the chat, between them, the legs of white, doesn't it? Ladies in the chat, what do you say to your man? Do you prefer them cleanly shaven or not? And then I promise we're going to talk about football. <laughs> <laughs> Beards are pastors on the wound. If, if they're ugly, then for God's sake, cover it up with a beard. Yeah, but um, Felipe has a beard. Just saying. Just say. Okay, okay, football time, football time, football time. <laughs> right. How many likes have we got, Ez? Um, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. I'm checking hang the on, live. Hang on. So, we've got over 220 so, of you in. And I'll save that first. So, uh, thank you for all coming in. But only 50 likes. What the hell are you playing at? Come on, guys. Cool. That That's pretty cool. Uh, sh shall I say this line? If you we waiting. Get... Come on. Well, well, shall I say if if we get like 300 likes, even though there's yeah, less than 300 in here, I'll, I'll tell you guys what I know about the PSR case <laughs> today. Pamela, really don't say that. say that in our chat. That's the worst thing you could have said. I enjoyed, I enjoyed the the one one on one to one you did with Rob. That was really informative. That was. I enjoyed. Yeah, no, we that. we delayed it because Rob had to sort the council. Well, out, what's it not so. been on? Sorry. That's <laughs> 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 fuck you know. <laughs> Look at that. I'd, I'd rather be going out with with Pam than I would with Carol. She's not fussed, and Carol's there like a little bit, nice bit of stubble match. Probably has a ruler out every day. Oh, just, Carol, yeah, yeah, it's one of those. Oh, she's like right. a little bit of stubble because stubble hurts. Yeah, she's yeah. We know. Uh, Carol. Like a match with it. 
Martin saying Mrs. Prefer a bid, then again she would prefer Felipe. <laughs> and 300 likes and Ant grows a bit. I mean, it will take longer than the 300 likes to get Ant's beard going. But anyway, okay, okay. Uh, Eddie's back, man. Eddie's back. I'll All right, what, it, does go, it does go quite quickly, though. I must say, it gets on my nerves having to shave all the time. Prove it. it does go Prove quite it. quickly. What, you shave every day? No, 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 no. Uh, I shave before I come on stream. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Rob does. I mean, me and Rob had an intimate moment this afternoon, which I don't want to divulge, but we are having the no, chat. Really we have... <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Crazy Cat Lady saying definitely beard. It's each to their, own, knows, to their own. Yeah. So, and Rob, you got no chance of Crazy Cat Lady, unfortunately. I'm going to grow my beard, though, aren't I? So, you know, who knows? Oh, there you go. She might. <laughs> She yeah. might think about it. She's thinking it takes more than a bid, mate. I agree with Craig. I agree 100% with Craig. You know what? You know what? God's honest truth. All my life, I've been exactly opposite. Don't trust men with beards to hiding something. Absolutely. Absolute BS, mate. Absolute BS. I'll tell you why, right? No, if a man, if a man has facial hair, it tells you there's two things, two rules I have with men, right? You can't be never trust. Shave. What? No, these are two rules. You can't argue these two rules, right? Never trust a man with no facial hair and never trust a man who doesn't watch football. That's my two rules of men. Because mm -hmm. have you ever been to an event and you, you start speaking <laughs> to them like your missus is work do or something? And then you come up to a man, you're like, yeah, who do you support? Oh, I, 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 I don't really no, know. No, no, no. Like, Great. You must, you must, my conversation. You must swear smoke like football. That shows you a real human being. Right. As, for, as for shaving or not, I think that's down to the individual. If you can't be asked to shave, then that's your that's your prerogative. It's not, whoa, whoa. It's not laziness. It's not no, laziness. yes, it is. No, it's it's not laziness for me, man. It's, anyway, enough, enough. Let's go football. Let's go football. <laughs> okay, so Nuno's done his presser today. There was some subtle hints in there, boys. Right? I think Chris Wood is oh, fit. Yuck. He looked, um, he was on the training video. The spirits look good on the training video and everything else, right? And I think Chris Wood is fit. I think um, Sangare is definitely fit. And I think, well, Felipe is fit. We already know that. But there's now a debate. I want to start this one off with Sangare. I'm getting pelters, man, for daring to back Sangare as being a good football player. And people are like, what are you basing it on? Who here in the chat is pro Sangare? Or anti Sangare. Be what you want. I don't really care. But give me a reason to why you're pro or anti, right? Um, I'm not gonna start with Ant because I know he's on my side. Who's who's not a Sangare fan on the panel? Okay, in the stream. Right. Next subject. <laughs> Next subject. Next subject. I thought your Chris Wood choice was a lot more uh, inflammatory than the than the Sangare one. No, the Sangare one is more yeah. was more controversial. It's more controversial. No. I mean, would you as would you switch him out for Yates? Yates had a decent game against Liverpool. I don't think he was as amazing as everyone said. But is it harsh? We use this harsh word that you see certain people use to drop someone who's played well for someone who's better. And I'm going to call him better. No, and yeah, it's not harsh. And I, 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 I think Yates had a good game. I don't think he had a great game, but he had a good game. And you want a yeah. 7 out of 10 or 7.5 out of 10, which is what I would have probably rated him on the match ratings in that game. Um, but Sangare's the better player. There's no argument over that. We just haven't had the chance to see it yet. And I don't think, I've, as I've mentioned before, he's had the team around him that would get the best out of him. But uh, for me, he has to come back. Sooner rather than later, we got to stop having this willy won't he debate and just play him. We've got what 10 games to go, it, it, we haven't got time to bed him in now. He's got to come in and he's got to hit the ground running. And he's had enough time to settle into the squad, um, to settle into the environment that he's in now. Because we, as fans, we don't take that into account. You come into a new country, you got to settle, you got to bring your family over. All that takes time, it doesn't happen overnight. So we'll allow him that and he's i think he's had that time now and he's come back as a champion like i said for what it's worth he's come back as a Afri afcon champion so he should be in the best mood form of his life right now and we need him to hit the ground running it's a necessity so you can't really debate whether he needs to come back in he needs to come back in and at the, at the uh, um you know risk of dropping yatesy but yatesy is a, a player that comes off the bench for me, you know, without any injuries, he's not a starter. He's not a starter for me. So unless uh, he's, we've got injuries, he's not a starter in that midfield. 
Sangari comes in and Yates does his role off the bench as he should do because I can't. Maybe Sangari doesn't get 90 minutes tomorrow. Dominguez more, more often than not doesn't get 90 minutes. So Yates has got his uh, role to play. I don't want people to start thinking that we can't drop him. He had a decent game. He didn't have a great game, you know, but the better player is Sangari and he needs to come in for me. Can, Rob, can you make a pro Yates um, case? Not so much a pro Yates case, but what I would say is that um, you've said yourself, oh, why can't we criticise Yates? Why do people get so testy yeah, when we criticise Yates? Mm -hmm. You're like that with Sangari. Why no, can't no. we criticise Sangari? Yes, you when are. You, said you, can't? When you, said you, can't? You, you You are very, very protective of him. I mean, we're all hoping that he's going to deliver, right? And he needs to now. But for me, if I was going to look at the midfield, leaving aside the our friend that's at uh, uh, Lyon right now or, or wherever mm -hmm. he is, um, Dominguez is the first name on team sheet, right? It's Dominguez plus one in that hole mm -hmm. behind uh, Gibbs White. And I think Yates, Danilo and Sangari all give you different options. Yates is never going to score a goal. Danilo could potentially score a, a screamer at any moment. Danilo is probably the uh, most lightweight of the three. Um, I would not pick Yates for tomorrow's uh, Sunday's game because just how many free kicks do you want to face? And, you know, that I think he raised his game against Liverpool. He didn't give away too many uh, free kicks. But I don't want to be in a situation where, you know, like with Turner, where we think, oh, he's doing all right. He's doing all right. And then like 93 minutes, he gives away a stupid free kick. And we go, why was Yates playing? We knew he would do that. So... I mean, for me, it would be um, Sangare and Dominguez. But it's Dominguez plus one. Dominguez is clearly, out of the four, the the the, the best and most sort of box-to-box, -box, uh, most goals, most goal contributions, and um, the energy and the quality that he shows. He is the best of the four. And then it's take your pick from the other three based on the opponent. I would love to see Sangare come in and make that position his own. He's spent far too long since we signed him just not being available or being in and out, doing a little bit here and there. Mm. He needs to, he basically needs to come in and for the last sort of third of this season, do what Felipe and Danilo did at the end of last season, which is he needs to mm. come in, he needs to actually carry the team. Yeah. Mm, but you're saying about Dominguez, I'm with you, but. He can't get to 90 minutes, man. And when he goes over 65, he cramps up and his quads go. That's only because he's working so hard and he can. And anyway, you've got you've got subs available. But what I'm saying is, for me, he would be the first name on the team sheet in that midfield. Definitely. Mm. And do you agree? Yeah, I have to. I mean, we know prior to coming to Forest, we know what Sangari was capable of. We've not seen it at Forest. Let's go. We've seen... Little glimpses, but no, no, nowhere near enough to convince people. But it's been so soft, stop, start, so in and out. It's had no run of games, so he can settle in with the team around. In, mm. And as quite rightly says, foreign country, foreign language, all those, all those other things that we don't necessarily think about that do make a difference to a player. And I just hope that he's back now. And I hope he's focused because you know we don't know that either. We don't know how much his mind was on Afcon. I mean, it shouldn't be, but like. As said last season with Brennan with Brennan, Wales, yeah. yeah, you know, is his eye slightly, maybe not even consciously, but subconsciously, is he, you know, not quite doing it because his mind's elsewhere. So I'm hoping he's come back. I'm hoping he's determined, he's settled, and we, and as Rob says, he's going to do for us in the last ten games what Dini and Felipe did last season, and he's capable of it. I think we all believe that. And so, yeah, for me, we've got to game in that team as, as soon as possible and keep him there if we can. I mean, obviously, if it's a, a disaster, then you have to take him out. But I don't think he will be. No. But give him a little bit of time. Don't expect too much. Expect a certain amount, but not, you know, world class every game just right now. And, mm. and as the guys say, and I agree, I think he is, or he should be the first name on the sheet. And after that, I don't mind whether he's partnered by Dominguez or Danilo at a push Yates. But, I mean, him and Yates, they both do the, not, not the same job because obviously uh, Sangari's got a lot more in his game than Yates has. But mm. at a basic mm. level, as, as you said, Wolfie, Sangari can do everything Yates could do plus more. 
Yeah. So Yates in that situation, who have, I've said all along, he's a squad player. He's not bad. He's not crap. He's a squad player. Mm -hmm. And then he's a replacement for either Dominguez, Danilo, or Sangari. That, that's yeah. how I feel about it anyway. Mm. Yeah. I'm, hoping, I'm hoping he's fit and ready to play. Do you, but do you see it as a split? Like, <clears throat> is it Dominguez on one side and then one from the other three? Or do you think there's like another one who's got similar attributes to Dominguez that could replace mm. Dominguez? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I think yeah. I think Danilo is, is a more like replacement yeah. than, than the others. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for that, Crypto. I was watching. I was watching Ben's lips. Oh, sorry, you say I, beg, I do beg your pardon. Sorry. <laughs> I was, was going to say before I jump in, uh, get your super chats in, guys, because uh, Rob running for president, it won't fund himself. He's got, he's got a long. He's got a long campaign ahead. President of, of what? <laughs> yeah. And uh, just quick, right? Now, hello to everyone watching on Twitter as well. Hope you guys are well. I think there's over a hundred oh, yeah. in there on Twitter. And shout out to Alan who came up to me in the street the other day and we had a little chat. That was really good. Cheers, mate. Uh, cheers, Alan. <laughs> okay. Thanks, <laughs> We're doing personal shout outs now. Oh, fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah shout out to I my know mom. You have too dad. many with all the mobs you uh, get, but you know. Uh, anyway, crypto, make sure your lips move this time when you answer, right? Answer that question that I asked. <laughs> um, I, I, I think at the moment, what I'd like to see is. Dominguez next to Sangare. I think Danilo for me can be a backup to Dominguez more so, or e or even a backup to to both of them. For okay. me, as you know, and we've discussed it before, Yates is 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 not a starter for me. He did have a good game last game, but in terms of what I want to see is people who are contributing to goals effectively in that position. So whether that's assists or balls that lead to an assist or goals, I'm not sure Yates is that player. I mean, he hasn't scored in the Premier League at all. Um, we know that Sangare, from what he's done in, in previous clubs, is, is brilliant in that position. Obviously, Dominguez is the first first name on the team sheet for me. Um, it's, it's hard with Danilo because I do like Danilo. And when he's in form, he's really good. But this season, he's been a bit out of form, in form, out of form. Inconsistent. Yeah. Inconsistent, yeah. So if... If he started uh, Dominguez and Danilo on Sunday, I, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be upset, but it would be nice to see Sangari in there. You know, he he is our star signing. Yes, some people think he's lazy, but he hasn't had a run in the team yet. Um, I think you know, put him in there two or three games, it'll be brilliant. We need that cog in the midfield. We need a new Mangala, basically, and I don't think I don't think Yates has, has followed in his footsteps. What do, you, what do you think of this, either Ezra or Rob? I mean, it's an interesting point I haven't thought of from Nick here. Danilo's more suited to a three-man midfield. If if we think about it, at the end of last season, that's when he was shining, wasn't he? And mm -hmm. that wasn't a three. Almost, he was kind of almost playing a false 10 if there's such a position as that. Do you think he needs an extra body to to help him out in that midfield? Oh, that's an interesting point by Nick. Who wants that? Are you two? Well, what system? I mean, it is a three-man midfield in effect, anyway, because it's Gibbs White with two behind him. So, I'm um, how do you mean a sort of like a flat three with? Yeah, two he's saying like a four-three-three three yeah. over a four-two-three-one. Right, uh, maybe, but he in he's going to be making the same runs and the same moves that we want Gibbs White to. So they're getting each other's way. I think but they kind of did that at the end of last season, Rob. He was no, almost I mean, playing as a backup. Cooper, Cooper was playing Gibbs White off center, and that created the opportunities for Danilo in the middle. And um, we all agree that Nuno's put Gibbs White where he needs to be. So I think that the chance for Danilo to do that would only really be if Gibbs White got injured. What are you saying, us? I don't think we need to complicate the shape, to be honest. I think we're happy with the formation, aren't we? We just need the right plays and the square, round pegs in the round holes, you know, that's what we've been asking for. Let's do it. Why are we going to, why are we making it any more complicated than it needs to be? We have to have a squad. You've got five subs, you've got to use them. And um, some of our criticism of Nuno over the last few games has been how he's used those subs. Yeah. When you, and so, you know, there's players itching to get on there. And if there's players on the pitch who aren't performing, then you have to make that switch. And you have to make it sooner rather than later. We see, we've seen it over the last few weeks, over the last couple of weekends, Liverpool especially, making the subs at the right times to impact yeah. the game when it's, yeah. you know, and that's what the top teams do. And Nuno is a top manager. I have no doubt about it. I don't think he's had necessarily um, the players, 
even if he's had the plays, if they've not been in the right um, fitness or um, certainly match fitness um, form for him to be able to give him the minutes that he probably would have liked to. So we need to see a better use of his subs. But Danilo is someone that I think he made an impact when he came off the bench against Liverpool last weekend. And I think in other games, he does that as well. And if that is his part of his role, there will be times I think he'll play ahead of Dominguez, to be honest. As much as I would say Dominguez is the first name on a team sheet, Sangare can make himself that first name if he performs the way we expect him to. And I know we're putting pressure on him, but he is the main man for me. If he gets it right, then the others, the way that formation would work with him being that main pivot and giving, yeah. taking some of the pressure off Dominguez. And maybe, we, like I said, with Dominguez in, with Sangare, and what I want to see, what I'd want to see is Dominguez maybe getting to 70 minutes, then getting to 80 minutes, then getting to a 90 minute p- performance because we are missing out on him when he comes off the pitch. As good as Danilo is, he hasn't still hasn't got that same energy as Dominguez. Dominguez just seems to pop up anywhere and everywhere, and he do, you know, and it's brilliant because he gets involved in the play. We need players like that, but I think uh, right now, um. For me, the two starters has got to be Sangari and, and Dominguez. I mean, Danilo is a is a first sub when when Dominguez comes on. But yeah, you know I, what? I, 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 I was going to ask you about Sangari. I think um, I'm trying to articulate this. I think what it is with people why they're not convinced with him is that we'd like to see some evidence that he actually gives a shit about Forrest, right? And I hate to say this out loud, but I get that feeling. You know, people saying he's lazy. I've just checked on Wikipedia, which may be wrong. He's made 11 appearances Maybe. this season. Ryan Yates, has made, Ryan Yates has made 23 appearances. So basically, that's, not what, Yates, that's not what the BBC said. No, okay, but Ryan Yates has been has probably had about twice as much game time as Sangare. And with Sangare, it's like it's either an injury or international duty or another injury or the AFCON. And it's like when we signed him, I think there are about five clubs after his signature, and we, which is why we were so delighted that we got him. But I kind of got the vibe from him, like, what am I doing here? You know, and if we get this vibe now that he's like in and out and, you know, he didn't really, you know, all he cared about was the AFCON and then he's just going to play out the rest of this season. And if we go down, he'll go to somewhere else. You know, I would like to see some evidence that he actually gives a shit about Forrest. Because he's our record. Well, what is that evidence? What do you want to see him fist pumping to the crowd and stuff? What what is this thing? I'm not saying he needs to fake that, but with some of the other players, like look at Hudson Adoy, for example. Just look how you know absolutely wired he is at the moment. And Ilanga, right? You can sense that they feel part of the squad and part of the club, right? And I just feel with Sangari, it hasn't clicked yet. And I want to see him have a good yeah, but he hasn't game. got enough game time. He hasn't had yeah, the game. I know, but it, 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 it's a, a, a vicious circle, isn't it? I'm Rob, just... you know, you know when you just said, you know, he just said there were five or six clubs after him, and he and he may not feel, you know, what am I doing here? That reminded me of Rainer so much. It's yeah, exactly the same situation. It is the same thing, but the but the difference is, whereas if Rainer just doesn't look like he's going to do it at the moment, we're under no obligation to pick him because he's not our player. Sangari is our player. He has to work. He has okay, to but... deliver. So I, I'm saying pick him, but I'm just trying to explain why I feel people are a little bit unconvinced about him. <clears throat> okay, but is that why people were then convinced about Dean Henderson? I am. <laughs> because if you, I was thinking about this Dean Hendo thing, like objectively. Now I bought into the Dean Henderson. Went, do you remember when he saved the penalty against, uh, was it West Ham? fist pumping the crowd, sliding into the crowd when we beat Liverpool and everything. But when you look at him as a goalkeeper, was he really that good? He was getting tonked from outside the box, what, 11 times in his first 15 games or something like that? Like, are we are we looking too much into the player has to suddenly be bleeding Forrest as if he's born and raised there and supported the team his whole life? Or do we just prefer that he's actually a good player who will do a job? Like, do you go into work and do you suddenly think, oh, I've got to go up and fist bump, you know, freaking British gas or whoever it is someone would work for? You, you know, you it is a job at the end of the day. You're over defensive about Sangari. And I don't I'm think not. I'm making the opposite need to argument. Be defended. He does not need to be defended. He needs to just go on the fucking pitch and deliver. And then we'll all be saying that's what we paid for. Yeah. Yeah. But if he delivers and he's still not showing that passion, that fire, that blood, right? 
Is that oh, okay? He's not, yeah. Maybe he's not that type of player, but yes. you know, you know, if you go to a party, right? You know, sometimes you see see people on the dance floor jigging it about, jumping up and down, spinning around, going crazy, and up like in that. the air, hands up in the air, and then you see the cool guys who just stand at the back, stand around, and just talk and just take it easy, just relax. Maybe Sangare is one of them. Mm. Mm. And who ends up down with the girl at the end of the night? Different, yeah, different demeanor, different demeanor. You know, he's 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 laid back. He's obviously that is his personality. I to, to carry on that analogy. I can't see Sangari at a party being the one in the middle of the dance floor spinning it around doing Michael Jackson moves. All right, uh, you never know. That's just not his demeanor. So give the guy a break. Let him play some football for us. He's not playing any football for us yet. Let him play some football for us. Exactly. I get what you're saying, Rob. My only argument back is I'll go back to the price tag, right? I think it's more the price tag than it is about um, his demeanor, the fist pumps, and all this crap. Because I still think we as a fan base see 30 odd million as, you know, this life changing amount of money. Where I am telling you 30 million in the Premier League. Look at some of the crap that has been bought for 50 million in the Premier League. Yeah. And then we're talking about 30 million. Like, like, Caseda, yeah, we're, we're 100 not million. United, though. We're not it United. doesn't matter. We're in the same league. We're in the same league as them. So you're saying 30 million is an average player? Is, is Ryan Johnson Yates worth 30 million? million quid? Jesus. Yeah, it, it's, it doesn't matter. Look, exactly that point. Um, Jono, you could argue unproven at the top end of the Premier League, was bought for 50, just under 50 million. I think this 30 million tag is just mm -hmm. being plastered onto Sangare as if he should be the second coming because he cost this whopping 30 million, which in the greater scheme of things is not a lot of money. I'd say it's I'd a like big deal. I've made more than 11 appearances by now, is all I'm saying. Whose fault's that? Yeah, he's been injured. He's been injured. Well, he's been AFCON. Go on. He, he, he had a horror tackle in the AFCON, and that feels like it was about a month ago. And, and I don't know. Look, yeah, but Aina, been, Aina's come back. Aina's come back. Bobby's been, come back. Okay, but there's there's a, there's a play, right? We're not there's, calling there's, them lazy and not there's bothered. Some players, there's some players in our squad who have been, shall we say, complaining about they weren't they weren't getting picked, right? Vlacodemus, Worrell. Now, there's a reason they weren't getting picked, which is that they were some of the worst players in our squad. But I just mm. don't even get the sense that Sangari really How minds do you know? that he's not playing. How do you know? How do you know? Well, I mean, Warrell doesn't even get picked you know, for the Texas. That's a fair point. Every day saying, I'm fit, boss. I'm fit. I can play. And Nuno say, no, we're not going to risk it yet because mm. we don't want you to break down again. I, I am trying to explain why I think some people are frustrated. And I think that you don't have to, you don't have to wrap him in cotton wool. You know, he needs to, he, no, he needs to deliver. And I would pick Jen him Bagri. because he needs to deliver. I actually agree with you, Rob. I actually agree yeah, with I think you. He does um, I agree, I agree with you. The and there's been times when I've been frustrated. There's been times when I've looked at him and thought, you're not in, you know, you're not yeah. giving everything. But then I've thought to myself, well, hang on, be fair. He's had injuries, new players, new, mm. you know, all the all the all the stuff. So give him chance. Yeah, the, give the, him other, the other but point. I, I don't is... understand your frustration. I do understand. But Just why, the final why... point, San, Sangari, before we move on to talk about the strikers is look, he hasn't been played in his right position. He's had one game in his right position. That was against Newcastle, and he was right up there for me as yeah. one of the best players on yeah, that pitch. Yeah, yeah. That it's like it's like telling Taiwo to play left back. You know, it's never going to happen. Mm -hmm. I know it's only from a six to an eight, but it's a big difference. It's a big mm -hmm. difference. Round pegs and round holes. Mm -hmm. He's got to be played. And we know what Nuno's favoured formation is, so bloody play him in it. And exactly. I agree. If if what underlying um, comment from Rob is that, you know, no more excuses for Zangari, I 100% agree. He's yes. got no more excuses. I've said, um, I've tried to yeah. give him some excuses and I said, yeah, we will allow him that bedding in period. Now he's got to perform. And we're in a position now, the comments already gone up about the must win situation, but it's, it's, a, it's a time where we've got a run of games now but we should be winning or getting the maximum points from as many of these next four games as possible, I think. I think um, it might be worth us having a chat about how many points we expect from these next four games in particular. I think there is an international break in between, isn't there? In between yeah, the next... after yeah. the Leeds thing. Yeah. yeah. The, so, the, thing uh, is though, the thing is, though, Ez, it, I don't think we do have to expect that he comes in and it's his last chance because he hasn't, he hasn't had any a run of matches. 
No, 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 that's not what I've said. I've said it's about time he starts performing. He's got, I've got no excuses for him. And I don't think any of us have made excuses, really. We've just said we just try to um, think, try and get in his, his head and find out where he's coming from. But, but it, like I said, it, the it, excuses for him not performing are out the window. He's not, he's not injured. He's not got an AFCON coming up. He's not needing to bed in. He's got a pretty much settled team, even when... Nuno makes one or two changes. The formation's the same. The, the gameplay's still the same. So it's not a huge change that he's coming into. But he needs to start performing. And that is... We've said it over the last few weeks. That's the pressure we're putting on him. He's got to perform. That's all I'm saying. And I agree with Rob if that's the sentiment that he's coming out with, why people are still, kind of maybe questioning him at the moment. We haven't seen still, it yet, but we will. Even, oh. even if he... You know, he still needs so-called... Minutes in the legs, doesn't he? He, he needs consistency it, within. Oh, Billy cons- Davis is back. <laughs> is it, is, yeah, but what you want him to do is just go on the pitch and stand there. He needs to go on and perform. No, That's my point. yeah, he needs to perform. But if you look yeah, at like a can't perform example, unless you're on the pitch. So if he's, I think he needs right, to no, 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 right no, 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 right no, 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 Gibbs White playing Elda, uh, I think it was R-Dub, wasn't it, instead of Cam. Mm. That shows you mm. positionally things are wrong. Let me just quickly go through a couple of Super Chats, and then we're going to talk about who plays up front. This one's going to be an interesting debate. Mm. Was it with the two pounds? Thank you so much for the Super Sticker, buddy. And Noah, the legend. Oh, still banned from oh. Forest, don't you know? <laughs> the 199. Three o'clock, get up Sunday morning. Hi, guys, healing up. Hope you're well, buddy. Thank you so much. For the 199. Just a quick shout out. Um, for uh, what are they called? Football prizes have got a new signed framed forest shirt giveaway. A bit like yeah. the one I've got in the background here. So if you want to go and win that, I mean you guys went crazy over it <laughs> last week. So they've got the signed framed home kit, insta win with Danilo. If you hit ticket number 28, there's only two and a bit Danilo. days left on this. Oh. Danilo, yeah. exactly. And that's the signed Danilo home kit on number 28 if you get that. I don't know who got the Felipe one last week. But what I do know is the winner of the main prize was ticket number eight, which was Ian Keaton. So congratulations to Ian Keaton, yeah, well, who man. won the Callum hudson Adoy signed frame shirt. Now, these, these are not cheap. You can buy them mm-hmm. off their store for like between 250 to 500 quid. So go get your tickets in now. And it's a nice um, frame as well, isn't it, Wolfie? It's a nice frame. It's, it's decent, decent quality, mate. It's not cr- no. Crap, it's absolutely top notch quality. It's like the one I've got behind me here. How do I bring mm. it up? Let's let's just show you guys. Uh, can I make myself bigger? Oh god, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. Lovely frame. Couple of pictures at the bottom. The lighting I've done myself. Yeah, you You'd have to do that yourself. It's quite easy yeah. to do from Amazon. So make mm-hmm. sure you get that all hooked up the link is pinned in the chat get your tickets in now and as always if you hit 28 let me know and we'll we'll ridicule you ridicule you that's the word i'm looking for um on Mm. screen and noah with the 499 thank you so much buddy how can i message you guys so we can meet at the palace game i had to make a few new forest accounts (laughs) to be (laughs) able to (laughs) to go they disabled my other accounts um drop us a whatsapp bro exclamation whatsapp uh, mm-hmm. you, I think you got a number anyway, and then uh, we'll we'll hook it up from there, buddy. Okay, you got ticket. Oh, now now here they all start with the lies, with the yeah. lies, with the lies, with the lies. Okay, I want to kick this one off into the strikers. And by the way, um, Yates or Sangare? Eighty-six percent of you have voted for Sangare over Yates. Fourteen went for Yates. We've got a hundred and fifty watching on Twitter. Say hi as well on Twitter. You can message and we'll bring it up on the screen. Yeah. And make sure you're following us on Twitter and on Instagram as well at official FFTV. So Twitter viewers, get involved in the chat and start arguing amongst yourself over it all. Okay, and Wood looks fit. And mm-hmm. Taiwo, the way that Nuno was talking about him, he was talking like he was coming back to full fitness. I don't know if you caught his presser. No, I didn't Quite... actually. No. All right, just pretend you did. That's what he said, basically. Oh. Right. <laughs> if, if his presses are getting shorter and shorter, by the way. Only mm-hmm. Kirsty. Oh, really yeah. yeah. Good, because I don't like managers' press conferences anyway, because they're only going to tell you what you need to hear. They're not going to reveal any secrets, are they? Yeah, but anyway, are you are you mm. 
What are you doing? Do you want me to come back to I'm you? buying tickets. All right, I'll, I'll start. I'll kick it off with Crypto. Then you buy your tickets before the rest of the chat nick them all from you, right? Crypto, <laughs> you've been a heavy it's critic your, of wood. It's your sales pitch. It's so good, mate. I just have to go and buy one. <laughs> well, let me see. I think there was 46 sold. Or something quick 47 you. sold. So get your tickets in quick. You've only got two days. All right, I'll put a poll up as well for you guys in the chat. Wood, Taiwo, or... Origi crypto. Uh, I mean, for me, this game, I think I think we need to give Wood another go if he's if he's match fit. Um, he was in brilliant form, wasn't he, before he got injured? And Taiwo is probably the opposite of that. Taiwo looks like he's falling out of form. I think I, I still think that they're two different types of strikers. For me, a one is good at running through the middle, but then he can't seemingly control it as he gets towards goal. Uh, which we've seen in the, on the last few matches. He's he's good at running. He can run through people. He's strong and he's skillful. But when it comes to shooting, he's still looking at his, his two left feet and he can't seem to get the ball out. Um, whereas Wood is much more of a clinical finisher. I wouldn't start a Rigi at striker, but I have I have put him on my on my team on the right right wing. If we you know if we can get the balls into Wood, I, I think he, I think he's going to come good for us again. And I, I think he's going to want to prove that he can be a starter because if he thinks that he's got a chance of getting in number one on the uh, <laughs> number one on the team sheet ahead of Awani, and as as Eddie said, you know, if you if you'd seen my Twitter status earlier, I said that uh, Chris Wood <laughs> was better than Stan Collymore, so I'm sticking with my guns. Um, but yeah, Chris Wood for me, you got to give him a chance. Let's let's see what form he can get back into. So you're going Chris Wood. Let, let's assume, or we're assuming they're fit. Yeah, yeah. assuming I mean, he's fit, I would start yeah. Chris Wood. I just think, I, I like a one. He's one of my favourite players, but his, his form's dipping, and you can tell it. And and the one thing with the one, he actually, probably more than his form, is he doesn't look match fit at all. He does mm. not look match fit. So for me, I'd start Wood in there, see what he can do again. If th this game on Sunday is a game, a game to give people chances. Sangare, Wood um etc so yeah i'd i'd go with wood and, and see what happens what are you the saying revisionism on this panel man honestly well, well, it, but you only have to go back two months so you don't have to go back that far to remember what crypto was saying about chris wood and now he's and i was always pro chris wood, wood. That's not oh, true. these lines that come out true. now, man. No, Seriously. There's the one thing i've been right about so Shall I go? You're, right. So, I don't care. Or, or let's have it his go. I don't know. No, no. Um, go and have you. If you're saying, if you're, uh, if you're going to fight for had, going straight in, go on. We've had some tight games against um, Newcastle, Man U, Liverpool, where we've lost by a single goal, and we've been ruining missed chances by a Wanyi and a Langer. And I think it's time for both players to not start. Right, Ooh. I think so. I, I think that um, I, I really like what Origi is doing at the moment on the right hand side, master of the through pass. And I think that if you have him and Sangare tomorrow or Sunday, both of those plus Murillo, you've then got three people that can pick out a killer ball to Wood. Now, you know, Wood's not giving well, you that ball. I thought you ball. hated Sangare. You're putting Sangare no, in No, I didn't. I, mean, <laughs> I, I was the first to say that. I can't, I can't believe you carry on. So, so I think <laughs> with, with a one year, uh, you know, he was always there in order to outrun, you know, bustle and outrun the defence and then just go and, like, shin in at the end of it. But it's, yeah. his magic shins have not been on form recently. What I liked about the, the Wood performance against Newcastle is the way he was just losing his markers and finding the holes. And that Brighton defence has shipped a lot of goals recently. Yes. There's a yeah, lot man. of gaps in there that yeah. I think Wood has got the football IQ to pick out. Plus, I haven't really liked Wood when he's come on as a sub this season. I've liked him much better when he's the starter and you've built the attack around him. And with the, with the run of goals that he had mm. since Christmas... I think that people can see that that's not a crazy idea now, building the attack around him. But I think you've got to you've got to mix it up. You've got to put some through balls and you've got to put some crosses onto his head. And you know, you give him 60 minutes, and then you can bring on a one yi and a langer. And what a fantastic pair of subs that will be against a tiring Brighton side. 
So I would keep Hudson Adoy, I would keep Origi, Gibbs White, and I'd have Wood in front of them. And actually, I think that's what he will go with as well. Ez, that's some pure revisionism, isn't it? No, I was <laughs> always pro Wood. I was always believing. Can I just say one quick thing? I, I... When you came on came on here once and, and had your agenda against Morgan Gibbs White, I thought that was pretty bad. But to have an agenda against a Langer is, you know, that's. And uh, I'm, I'm, I think he's been given too much responsibility, <laughs> and he can be an impact sub for a few games until you know if he comes on as a sub and scores, he's he's mended, he's fixed, and then you go back to picking him again. But I just don't think that we, we we've been flogging a dead horse with a Langer and a Wanyi. You know, I'm thinking of those three games, Newcastle, Man U, Liverpool, where we've created chances and we've not finished them. And it's really, it's been those two that haven't been finishing them. Give them a rest. Give them a rest. Other players are available. And other players like Origi, <laughs> Hudson Adoy are in form now. They should both be starting. Mm, Ant, wait, where are you sitting on this one? Yeah, wait, actually, before you do, right. sorry, Ant. I've just got a couple more super chats. Um, to bring up Noah with the 199 30th of March. Noah versus Ant the fan zone. He's done. He outside says. the fan zone, not outside in the, fan zone, the no. fan zone. Outside, outside, the fan yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Noah. And Forest till I die. What a legend! Gifting five memberships, oh. and that's actually gone to Noah. Congratulations, <laughs> Noah. Kicks <laughs> gets it, it as well. He's not got membership. He's paid enough in. Um... Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. He, he's earned it a free one there. I can't I can't freaking find who the other ones were. I'm sure it's in the chat somewhere. Make yeah, sure guys, you make show sure some you. love to the legend that's far as till I die for those beautiful gift Pat, membership. Pat, Just get it looks like all the Pat. I thought Pat was already a member. Did Pat get one? Pat always gets a free membership. Oh, man. That's what K I thought. KO's got he's, one, he's which sick. is awesome. KO Kicks has got one. Um, Pat, I can't see Pat trolling us. Did you see Pat one? Oh, I can see it. Well, I can see it. Noah got one. Tom, Tom got one. Tom's a legend as well. But yeah, Pat did get one. Wait, <laughs> Jordy got one. Jordy got one again. Jordy's had a gifted membership twice, and he's a Jordy Newcastle fan, and he's gone all quiet in the chat now. <laughs> he's sitting there. But thank you so much, Forrest Till I Die. You're an absolute legend. And I, I want to know what you'll think about the striker thing because there was so many times, and I won't, I won't say Ant has revisionism. There's so many times he'd call me after a match. I'd be kicking off at Chris Wood, and he'd always say, "Yeah, yeah, yeah," but you weren't watching it, man. He got some good headers. This is under the Cooper era, yeah. So he was always defending him. I specifically remember Man City last year and a couple of other games. <laughs> yeah, so where, cool. where are you now on who starts? Because you've been frustrated yeah, at I mean, Tyro a bit, haven't you? Yeah, I'm yeah, very frustrated. But uh, I'm not getting on to Tyro about this, by the way, people. I love Tyro, and I hope that he proves me wrong, that he gets back. But his fitness levels at the moment are just not there. 50 million, and 50 million. 50, yeah. Would you 50 not grab it right now? Yeah, anyway, I probably would. Yeah, no, I would. You know, it, it, no. he can't finish. We know no. that. We know it. We know in Don't general he's not, he's not a good finisher, right? I think we all agree with that. So if he's not got the... The fitness in the mobility. I don't know if we agree with that. And sorry, yeah. he's got the best conversion ratio in the Premier League, so you know, yeah, I'm but he can't, yeah, but he's not a good finisher. That, that's just, take, let's just hope, really tally up, does it? Let's just hope no, that no, he's he not sustainable. He 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 scores a goal. Hang on, hang on. Look, you ask me, right? You can bungle. You can bungle things off your kneecap and your shins and your heel and your ass for so long, but eventually it'll catch up with you. OK, and that's what's happening. We saw against Liverpool the, probably the worst piece of striking I've seen in my life. OK, I might be exaggerating, but it's it was bad. It was bad, man. It was worse than Ballister. Ballister could finish. It, it was bad. Highland against right? Man U. That was bad. Hmm. Honestly, he's got the ball at his feet. And he's not got a clue. And as, as somebody mentioned, he looks at his feet and that's not yeah, a good attribute tough. for a striker. Yeah. It's not a good attribute to be looking at your feet because you're frightened. Of where the ball is, you should know where the ball is. So there are weaknesses in his game, but I do like him. He has got, but if you take away his physicality and his his um, mobility, he is not the same player because you've not got anything else to rely on. You know, you get people that aren't the best, most mobile, or aren't the most physical, or whatever, but they can finish. That's okay, but. If you've not got that, you're not giving a lot to the team. So right at this moment, and also, can I emphasise, 
it is a squad game. I know it's a cliche, but it is a squad game these years, uh, these, these these days. So mm -hmm. by having Tyro on the bench, and I, I actually agree with Rob as well. I think you're better off starting with Wood and bringing Tyro on because then Tyro is up against players that are more tired. Yeah. Okay, so his lack of mobility at the moment is not such an issue. So I agree with with Robin in that respect. Start with Chris Wood and hope that he carries on in some sort of form that he was before he got injured, because he's a decent striker. You know, he can strike the ball. Uh, you know, and he is intelligent, despite what people might say. He is intelligent. So I think to start to start with Wood would be a good idea, and then obviously. He's just come back from injury, so he's not going to be fully fit. We wouldn't expect him to last the 90 minutes. So Tyra can then come on and do, hopefully, give us something different. Elanga's do you guys all expect him to start with Wood tomorrow? Do you no, no, mate. No. Not tomorrow. Definitely not tomorrow. No, on Sunday. I do. I'm a, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit worried about what Ant is saying, because... Because last time he made a statement like this, uh, the player actually Felipe, retired. retired from football. So <laughs> I hope uh, Awani is not going to watch this and retire next week. Um, so, But with Ilanga, it, it's an interesting one. Again, I'm sorry to say I agree with Rob. I was, I've You're been welcome impressed to agree with me. <laughs> He Fact says it so me. like despondently. I apologize. <laughs> that would have been more special if I'd gone first, because then you would have had to agree with me. <laughs> um, I've been quite impressed with Origi. I really have. He's, you know, you know, I've been very anti Origi. Um, mm, maybe, uh, you know, maybe I was maybe I was unfair because the last couple of games he's looked he's looked like he's got something off worth offering. And yes, again, I agree to bring Ilanga on later. I think they've got problems at left back anyway, haven't they? They're having to play. Um, yeah, Igor or Igor, uh, everything. Uh, Igor, yeah, they're having to play him at left back, who's really a, a central defender. Yeah. So to bring Elanga on once he's been knackered out by Rigi, that could be, you know, a masterstroke. So yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty on board with having. Uh, I think it's the one you put out on your yours as well, Wolfie. I think it's MGW and then. Uh, Chow, Chow on the left, Rigi on the right, and Wood mm. in the middle. It's quite, it's quite not Wait. what I said a few weeks ago. I've got to admit. Wait, so hold on. So now, any of you agreed with Rob, you're now agreeing with me. Yeah, we're well, great minds think alike, don't they? You know? <laughs> we're losing on Sunday chat. Yeah, no, I'm that. worried. I am worried. I'm worried <laughs> with all your guys thinking. You're worried honestly. now. <laughs> I'm worried. What? I, we t I spoke about the spine of a team last week, and in the spine of a team, when Sangare's fit, Sangare's in the spine of that team. When Tyro's fit, Tyro's in the sp spine of that team. Crypto talks about Tyro not being match fit. How do you get match fit unless you pl play? Yeah, but he doesn't even look match fit for like 20 minutes. He doesn't look fit for 20 minutes. Tyro needs to play for it. Never mind match fit. Yeah, he needs, to play, he needs to play himself into form. I can't ha be having you guys dropping him to start. Yeah, but you can say he can't say that. He can say that about Yates. He needs to play. Himself just come back from injury as well. What are you expecting him to do? Yeah, but Ez, well, look what Vic's saying. Three. He's saying running out Hard of games. Fun. He's saying running out of games. We can't wait for players to get back in form. Hang yeah, on. and so what are you expect him to just come aura. in and you be expecting Wood to just come in and hit the ground running after his injury? He has been up for one of our top scorer. Wood's due a purple patch. Again, you lost. Chris Wood so is our top scorer. Time, well, that position, is, that position is, is Wood, is Wood. By right. He's our top scorer. He is scored. Wait, eight you're goals. saying Rob fully fit all three of them? You think Wood's the better, the better number nine? Should no, we say? What, I'm saying, is, what I'm saying is, we've relied on a one year for a season and a half, and we seem to think that that position is his by right. If he's fit, I would disagree. This season, Wood is the top scorer. So if Wood is available and fit, then why is that still automatically a one year's position? All right, but you're contradicting Rob, yourself. You're contradicting is that, yourself. Is that stat from the BBC or Wikipedia? Uh, uh, Wikipedia. Okay. And it yeah, is but Rob, I, you can Rob, check. Are you contradicting yourself? Though. Who's our second top goal scorer? A one year. A land. Uh, hang, hang on, what we're doing here now is we're arguing to try and pull other people's arguments. Or we're, we're we're not having a proper discussion. It's just trying to pull other people's arguments down. That's what we the always do. Okay. The fact of the is, right <laughs> now, right now, Awani is so out of form. He wouldn't deserve to start for Sheffield United. 
That's how well, that's how bad he is. Come on. That's how bad he is. Rob Polanski. On that football pitch, he contributed nothing. And he cost us points by fucking up when he was clean through. Okay? So get him out of the team. Chat. Bring him in. Don't go there. Don't go there. I'm not Just blaming clip him all of it. Just clip it all. Clip it all. It's fine. Patrick Ingram. Keep saying what you think. Hey, 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 clip it all. I hope I'm wrong. I hope Tywo yeah. scores 10 goals tomorrow, I, mate. Must have, I, 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 oh, I know oh, you'll be wrong. Here. I know you'll be wrong. Just shows you what I know, doesn't it? I it's don't, I don't be, care. You know. Like last I, season, oh, it'll be Tywo's goals that help stay, uh, keep us up. Without a doubt. Oh, it's not my word. Be... No, what are you on? You're not I know, I know. We'll get to him. We'll get to it. But amazing. But I don't know what... Go on, sir. Listen. It's not. It's not even twelve months since he did the job for us last season, and he. You are you going to say now that you can't play him until he's uh, hit form? No, when is he going to hit form if you don't play him? You got to no, start him. That. For me, you got to start him. Bring Wood on as a sub. Wood's just come back from as, injury. As, 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 I don't I expect him to come in. I wouldn't be upset. Would you if be, okay, you know, let me just finish my point, then. Let me just make my point. Okay. How would you feel if you were Tywo? We know what. I'm just say it. I'm just saying. Yeah, I know. But how would you feel if you were Tyro and then you get dropped for the Wood, who's just come back from an injury, who comes straight in ahead of you? Wait, 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 wait. No, sorry, I don't care what our players feel. I couldn't Hold on, man. He's contradicting himself now. How would you feel if you were Yates and then Ez said that he'd bring Sangari yeah, back in know. ahead of him? No, 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 no. What's the difference? Yates Yates, no, because Yates isn't stupid. Yates knows that Sangari has been brought in ahead of him. There's no comparison there. There is absolutely no comparison between Yates and Sangari and Tyro and Wood. And Wood's co just coming back from injury now. Wood's com just coming back from injury. I, I would I, not expect him to start. I never, I never I, thought I'd see the day where someone on this stream has a Chris Wood agenda. <sighs> Crypto, come on, make a serious comment if you're going to make a genuine comment. But there's no reason why he would come straight in ahead Ahead of Tyro for me tomorrow. Ed, Ed, don't right. misunderstand me. Because don't I want to see Tyro starting on Sunday. I won't be upset. No, but if Sangare yeah. starting, if you want to see Sangare start, Sangare we believe is going to be um, the key player. I believe he's going to be the key player. If he gets it right, I think the whole team gets it right around him. But I want to see him doing his job and linking up with Tyro. Tyro's got too much to offer. He's he's had his a couple of bad games, but he will. He, honestly, he will come good. And I've got confidence in him, and I'm I'm just really astounded that you guys have just dropped him like a whatever. You yeah, want but you can tell he's out of form. He's not much fit. He's yes, out of but form. he needs he's to play to fit. get that form. He needs to play yeah, to get that form. Saying, as as we're, we're, we're in danger of being relegated, we I don't care who plays as long and, as he's uh, playing well. Score. I don't care whether it's Chris Wood or uh, Tywo. I'm not bothered. I need one of them to step up, and at the moment, Tywo's not doing it now. If he if he comes on after sixty minutes, scores a couple of goals and looks sharp, then of course he starts the next game. But at the moment, he's not doing it, and we can't afford uh, to keep waiting. Now you're, right, right, you're right. He has been injured I as well. So I, I take that on board. Yeah, but as in Nuno's team, Chris Wood plays well. In Nuno's team, yes. Chris Wood plays well. I'm not saying he doesn't. I'm not saying he doesn't. But I'm saying in our best eleven, but which we still haven't seen this season, and I want to see it. In my best eleven, Tywo is the, the one leading the line, not. Chris yeah, Wood. I agree. But he has to be in form. Not in his current, not in his current form. It, it has yeah, to be I know, but again, he but we haven't had a full. Fully fit squad around him. He hasn't been fully fit. Everything around it hasn't clicked into place. I think it's starting to now. I need to see it, and I don't. I can't believe you guys are just throwing Tyro under the bus like. That. All right, all right. I let's let's. let's just, no, let, me, let, me, let me just say this: we're not throwing him on the bus. What we're saying right. is because of his current fitness situation. Sorry, what I'm saying is because mm. of his current fitness situation. I think it would be better to introduce him later in the game when he's against more tired defenders. That that's not mm. chucking Tyro under the bus. Well, you did kind of man. It's Lewis well, Dunk and another, isn't it? The central defenders. I think it's been there's yeah, been a couple of yeah. different partners for him this season. But Dunk's a handful, mate. Dunk knows what he's doing, and I think Tyro just does a better job against uh, Dunk than Wood does. I, I, He'll do a Wood's better job after moment. sixty minutes. Yeah, and Dunk's been playing for sixty minutes. Yeah, Tyro will do a better job on him then. Right, we're going to argue all night. We're going to argue all night, right? Yeah, 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 and yeah, and you did throw him under the bus because you left out the statement where you said he couldn't get into the Sheffield team. That is bus throwing yeah. if I've ever no, seen it. Right now, right now, it's shocking. And he's shocking it, right Crypto now. can get that? into the but into the Sheffield team. Come on, man. Seriously. It's hey, I, like I, that. I, 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 I couldn't fall. I went I too far. Fair enough. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> 
I couldn't even fit in the bus. I didn't even hear that. You're lucky I didn't hear that one, and I would have been on that. All right. The chat have said the chat are backing and Rob and Crypto. 42% going for Wood, 39% going for Taiwo, and 19% going for Origi. And apologies, I did forget to put um Rodrigo on mm -hmm. there. But but the no, reason I forgot is because Noah, man, what the frick are you doing, bro? Oh, that is ridiculously too generous. It's pinky purple. I've never seen that color. Thank seen you. That color you know what? Color. I always worry though that so we done that. They meant to put four ninety nine, and it's yeah, <laughs> and it's yeah. No, it, 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 no refunds. No refunds. <laughs> yeah, no. If you did mean that, um, you're gonna have to speak to at YouTube because we don't get a say in it. <laughs> they take their cut. Buy you a drink. <laughs> Thank you so Go much, Noah. That's way too generous of you. Super chat. Meet me against Fulham. He could have just slipped me the fifty then. <laughs> <laughs> it, I think I think Chucker when we survived against Arsenal dropped for fifty. Fifty big did, ones, isn't there? But yeah. listen, shout out to Noah. That's way all. Listen, even the ones who are putting a quid in or just a like or anything like that, you're supporting us more than you know and Noah actually yeah, says in this know. message let's read it out boy he's gonna stop spending money for a bit just want to say hope i am a legend to you all and all my forest fans out there i love you all and think we should honestly i think i think we should honestly need to get me in stream on sunday even though i'll be on the coach i'm so excited <laughs> come on you reds no you need to get you on especially legend, on mate. the fan phone-ins the forest yeah. phone-in we got to hear from you and we even without even without your super chats man you're an absolute legend and watch this the chat are going to show you so much love now in there by bigging yeah. up noah and sai sai a legend of the channel simon f love to no Noah worries. with the two pounds love to you as well simon you guys make make me having to sit with these pillocks bearable so thank you so much okay Sorry. What? <laughs> I thought you said crypto. I can't believe you said Sheffield. I can't believe you said crypto. Yeah, saying, saying a one into Sheffield United is just a sickening. Oh, I, look, look, I went too far. I went too far. Okay. I got carried yeah. away. You know what I like when I, I get up carried there, away? I was up there. Yeah, I, Cooper comment, mate. I know, man. You said Cooper and that. I think this was worse. But anyway, uh, just a quick reminder. Don't forget to get your tickets in for the sign frame for a shirt like mine, but this season's version. Um, the link's pinned in the chat. You sold for 50 tickets have now gone. There's still 149 left. And I don't think anyone's got that Insta Win Danilo shirt, number I 28. Haven't. So make sure you Ticket get 148. Into... I got people. 148. I think is that an Insta Win? Unlucky. 125 was an Insta Win. You didn't get that. But so there's another and this is as good as a mile, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's true. That is true. Exactly, okay, yeah. so let, let's start looking specifically at this game. Uh Rob, a lot of people are, I think reading too much into this Roma result yesterday. Um, how have you seen that game? I personally wanted it like a one-nil loss to Brighton, mm -hmm. so they were still in there. But a lot of people are coming out and saying, Well, they're gonna be on a full downer now because they got tonked um in Italy yesterday. How how are you thinking? How are you thinking or reading this situation? Yeah, I think they've got a bit of fixture congestion at the moment. It's like you said, though. It would have been nice if they had some skin in the game for the, for the second leg, but they've probably just written that one off now. Having said that, you know, they're at home. They'd want to have a go. But uh, in terms of resting people, picking people, um, I think it means they're going to pick a, a stronger squad on Sunday. But I don't know. I mean... Uh, I, I would prefer to play someone after they've beaten 4-0 um, than if they'd just beaten someone 4-0. So, you know, if they're, if, you know, they're, they're presumably thinking, why have we just lost 4-0? Do we need to make changes? Do we, but yeah, they've all, they've definitely got jet lag, that Ryanair flight back from Rome. So, I don't know. Um, who who can say? Who can say? Well, I, I know that, crap, that Pedro's injured anyway, which is fantastic because he scored a really good goal against us at the city ground. So uh, I'll be happy to not see him again. Yeah. He's They've, out. Got other threats, though. Mm. They've got other threats. And this is the thing. You, it's, it's a lottery to try and figure out what their lineup's going to be. But I, I'm actually concerned that they've they lost so heavily because I can't see them putting any uh, anything into that second leg now. I think their fight for the rest of the season is to try and break into, obviously, the European positions. We're, we're only a point outside of that at the moment. So... I, that's the worst worst result we could have had, to be honest. I think uh, uh, 
well, maybe a nil-nil draw or a, a one-nil defeat would have been best. But losing four-nil, I can't see. I mean, this Roma is a good team, a fantastic team anyway. We're not on the same level as uh, Brighton, not on the same level as Roma anyway. So I don't expect them to get through that tie. But I wanted it to be a little bit tighter. So they might put something, save some of their efforts for that second leg. But at this stage, they're, they're out of it, you know, and they've got to be concentrating on trying to get back into Europe. So I would have rather they didn't lose so heavily. But, you know, trying to figure out what they're going to play uh, and listening to the Zerbies because of part of the FPL stuff is I'll listen to their their um, um, press conferences. But trying to figure out what the is going to do is an absolute minefield. So he could be playing any one of 20 different formations or uh, shapes mm. tomorrow. Um, and they've got so many key players. Pedro, I'm glad, isn't playing, but they've got so many other threats. Look at how Adingra wasted Aina in that final. Of the Afcon, absolutely destroyed yeah, him, man. Yeah, absolutely yeah. destroyed him. He he's one. Yeah, I know we deal got, with that. He was injured. We've got Nciso back now from injury. He's mm. one that worries me the most, to be honest, because I think he's got he's played the minutes that would see for me would see him start on Sunday. Um, he's another one behind him. We've got Fatty and other all these other fantastic players. I. I I think we'll talk about the defense whether we want to see any changes in our back line. I, I didn't see your lineup, um, Wolfie. In, uh, <laughs> I didn't see your lineup earlier, but um, I'm hoping you stuck with the same centre back pairing and you didn't bring anybody else in. Here's one I made earlier, bitch. Look at that. There you go. Oh, let's have a look. And let me zoom in. Yeah, I can see the centre backs are, are what they are. Yeah. That's exactly. Yeah, what I think. Thing. Only like say the only difference for me would be uh, Tyro instead of Wood. Other than that, I'd agree with the rest of that to be honest. But yeah. I wouldn't change that back line. And we need to see uh, we need we need players who can deal with tricky wingers and um, fast play. And we saw I've mentioned it last week. Uh, week we mentioned it week before how well Murillo and um, Bam Deli did against Arsenal against Liverpool. Two, two of the trickiest attacks in this league, you know, um, and I'd be happy to see them stay in because they will be up against tricky players, forward players tomorrow, not necessarily a number nine. They're going to have players running all over the place. So we need speed and we need players who are agile in our defence tomorrow. Uh, so I wouldn't change that. But my my point being like not knowing what we're going to play, we've just got to put our best team out. And uh, I've said, I don't want to labour the point, our best team is your one you've picked. Uh, plus uh, Tyro instead of um, Wood for me, but it's a it's a good team. But the, the thing is, the thing is, crypto. When why are we talking about Brighton? Why are some people talking about Brighton? Surely, if yeah, I know it's bloody hell, man. I hate Sunday games. It's because... been a long freaking week. I hate Sunday games anyway. It's only because they play in obviously they play in the Europa leagues or Europa cups. So we have to play the Sunday game, but yeah, I hate Sunday games. Anyway, yeah, um, no, I uh, get better soon, buddy. Thank and thank you again for all your super legend, tracks. You're honestly. a legend. Yeah, but crypto, why why is everyone talking about Brighton when surely, surely, if Forest played to the level we can play, right? We can we can beat most teams on our day. Surely, can't we look at it like that instead of oh Brighton they got in jail, Ez is there freaking sucking off to Zerbi and what have you on his tactics and tinkering and whatever, yeah. Why not suck off Nuno and his tactics I think, and I what think, he can I think, do? I think that Mitomo well, being out, I think, is, is advan- <laughs> I think Mitomo again, being out it? is advantage. Sorry, Chris. Okay. I'll leave it. Yeah, yeah. Chris. Sorry. Sorry. I agree <laughs> with that. Say what you were saying about Mitomo. Man. Yeah. I think, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know Nick what to do now. Crypto. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in the quandary. You started, so you might as well finish. I don't know. We'll okay. go to crypto. Have you got like your arm up his ass, man? Little puppet master there, crypto event. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. Um, Got it. Yeah, I think Matoma being out is a real advantage to us because that guy is, is very, very, very quick. Very quick. So, yeah, him being out is, is good for us. Defensively, the shock, they're a shocking mess. Uh, they've lost 3 0 and 4 0 in the last. Now, would you rather be playing a team that's lost 3 0 and 4 0 in the last yeah. two games or a team that's won 3 0 and 4 0 in the last two games? I don't care. Come on. You, we get all this, oh, they're going to be, you know, they're going to, there's going to be a, uh, backlash and all this. No, I said to you about West Ham. I said the same thing. If a team's not playing well, we're not playing well. Up here, whatever. The fact that they went out to Roma, I don't think he's going to turn them into a super team all of a sudden. I think they'll still have the same players. I think they'll still play the same way. Zerbi plays. There's a big hype about Zerbi, right? There's a big hype go. about Zerbi. There you go. 
let's see. Let's see. It's been the, what, a year and a half, something like that. He took over a very good team. They do play some nice football, but they get hammered on a regular, a fairly regular basis. They get not hammered or fired. Not at home. Not at home. Maybe. Man, they said Emery was crap. He is. He's you still want sticking to, to that. He's still sticking to that. He's a one-trick yeah. pony. He's a one-trick <laughs> pony. He's got one way of playing. Well, I'd rather have that trick. And, 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 uh, and next season, it won't be us. anything like this season because everybody will kill him because of the high line. That's what you said last year. He's not year. a good manager. He does well in cups because you can win cup games by playing stupid <laughs> tactics. Reckless. You can win cup games. You can't win leagues like that. But let's not get on about Emery. Did you see what he did at Arsenal, by the way? Let's not go on about Emery. Did you see what he did at PSG, by the way? Let's not go on about Emery. Okay? See what he's doing now at Villa? Yes, he's brilliant at Villa at the moment. But they ain't going to win for cool. They're winning place in the Champions League. That's the win these yeah. days. Oh, that's not a win. I'm sorry, mate. If we're going to go down that line, we'll stop yeah, talking about it. Yeah, but for Villa, that ain't a win. that's a win that's for a Villa, mate. In the league. Come that's on. not a win, okay? Come on. It's not a win. Do you know if how much Villa is Chad, do you agree with Anne? Anne? Is Emery crap or not? Villa are one of the highest spending teams in the Premier League. It's not all what bloody Emery's done. But anyway, what are you going to tell Emery for? I'm talking about Deserby. Yeah. Deserby I'm just saying, you said Deserby's crap. And I was like, well, hold on. Your track record's not very good. No, it is. It's excellent. <laughs> it's excellent. If you okay. think that Emery is in the same class as the likes of Pep and the likes of Klopp, you are mental. I'm Did I say that? Man. Did I say that? He's got nothing. He's got nothing. He's got he's one way of playing. You, bro. And at the moment, at the moment man. Man, that way he's doing quite well. But they aren't going to win anything, mate. They're You're straw manning me. When did I say Pep or, or, or Klopp? Because you're saying he's an elite manager. I'm saying he's not an elite manager. When did I say elite manager? All I said was you said oh, Emre was crap. Then, what? So we're going down the grades, are we? So what is it? Is no, it no, 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 no. Is it just <laughs> not crap? Where All I said with? was that you said Emre was crap. I didn't give my opinion on Emre. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> we're talking about Deserby anyway. Deserby, <laughs> believe this, right? You talk about bookmarks, you talk about clipping, clip this. If Deserby goes to Man U or if he goes to Chelsea, you'll see what a shite coach he is, right? One way of playing, okay. never works, right? But anyway, so what I'm trying to say before you riled me up, what I'm trying to say mm -hmm. is that all, they aren't going to all of a sudden turn into world-class, fantastic, brilliant performances tomorrow against us on Sunday. They are there for the taking. Their defence is awful. Awful, right? No, do you think, is there for the taking. I think the question, Ant, I'm, is uh, do you think they're going to focus on this league game more than they are the second leg of a uh, cup? No. I don't think it matters, Ez. Are people, I think people Why read too much matter? into this. When, I don't because I don't think it does. How can you? I mean, I've always thought I've always smiled when people said they're going to concentrate on the league. How do you concentrate on the league? Oh, I'm ignoring you play that. Your best, you save your better players, league. exactly. You save your better what? players, you save you mean, your better players. You mean, from the league you mean. Game. You mean the manager may not rest players in the league now, which they would have done if Correct. they had been the court. Yeah. I yeah. agree with you. Of course. Of course. But what well, I'm trying to say point. is, no, but what I'm trying to say is, is that the people that is not resting are not good anyway. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm, I don't, I don't agree. So, I so, think, you know, who's the, not good? Who, who, would they have, who would they have rested? A, a Dingra? I don't think they'd have rested a Dingra. They possibly would have uh, rested... Um, and Cisa knows back from injury. You probably would have given him the full might, game if he might, wasn't losing yeah, two it might, because it's Forest and the thing was shit. So it, it might have done. But you've got mm -hmm. to remember, Brighton can still just about qualify in the league for UA. UA That's what I mean. UA, That's blah, 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 what I mean. Blah, blah. So they're going to focus so on that. So I don't think more. necessarily they would have dropped the ball on that. Is what I'm trying to say. But look. We don't know, do we? We don't know. I yeah, just think that... I back think to the point, yeah, I don't think we need to worry about them. We need to worry yeah, about Yeah, I think we're playing them at a good time. I think we're playing them at a good time. They've lost the last two games, 3-0 and 4-0. No matter what you say, that can't be good for confidence, can it? It can't be. Obviously, if you're letting three goals in and four goals in, you, you have a, an issue in your defence. And we have players that we've all said we believe are good enough to exploit a weak defence. So I think we've got a good chance. I think we've got a good chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Guys, please don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed Ant ranting. Yes. I'm loving the new Ant names in the chat. And I can't believe people are agreeing with Ant. It's just, it's just weird. Um, okay, Rob, there's a it's couple night, of in injuries they've got. Uh, Happy Gilmore's suspended. Sully March is like 50-50. Matoma's no, out. No, Sully March is out the rest of the season, mate. 
He's out for is the rest he? of the season. Yeah. Breaking yeah. news. Breaking news from Forest End. Breaking news. Breaking news. Matoma, who I called Minamoto on the uh, preview today that no one picked up on. <laughs> Usually, you know, in the chat, not paying attention. I'll put a little clanger in there every now and again. Uh, I yeah, thought he's quite funny. Oh, oh, you do those on purpose, <laughs> do you? Oh. I do, yeah. I just want to see who comments on them, who the, you know, the spelling police and the pronunciation police are. Pedro's <laughs> out, uh, Grandad Milner's out, and Hinchelwood, who I've never heard of and couldn't care less about, he's out as well. Um, so, Rob, the question. How does this play out on Sunday slash tomorrow if you're Ezen going? Well, while you were all arguing about Deserby and um, yeah. and, Unai Emery that, and everything else, I was doing my research. So oh, Brighton's good. last three games, they've not scored and they've had three different players up front. They've had Welbeck for one game, Ansu Fati for one game and Ferguson for one game. So mm -hmm. Pedro's injured. <laughs> I think they've got problems up front. Okay. And uh, having said that, this is Forest, so the score's going to be three-two. Uh, so I just hope that we, we've got the three and they've got the two. It's going to be a high-scoring game. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. Um, yeah, I, I just think it's going to be a wide-open, high-scoring game. Um, I'd love to be proven wrong. I'd love us to nick it one-nil with Chris Wood header in the 89th minute, but I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. But from their from their side, it's not obvious where the goals are coming from because you know we've just played. Um, I mean, we've just played against some in-form goal scorers like Nunes and Watkins are in-form goal scorers. They, Brighton don't have that. No, I, look, I, I used the time. <laughs> was that, was that the same thing, I was <laughs> waiting to be asked for my contribution and that is my analysis. I think they've got problems up front, but I think that against us, they'll refine their goal scoring. So it's just... Who's on the so right? Rob, just to clarify, Rob, breaking news a team with injured strikers could yeah. have problems up front, is what you're saying. <laughs> no, but I, I think against us, they'll they'll refine their goal scoring touch. I mean, they, they had to they had to equalize against Everton in 90 plus five, and that was True. from a, a defender, right? So um it will it's nice to go up against somebody that hasn't got an in-form striker. I think that Ferguson out of the trio is the one that worries me because he scored. Very nice goal against us at the city yep. ground. He will probably start and yep. hopefully he him. doesn't re recover his form tomorrow, uh, Sunday, you know. Sunday in the game. He's another one that's overrated. Well, I don't know. <laughs> He's got six goals this season, nice same goal. as Taiwo. I've watched him play, I've watched him play a lot and I don't I don't get it. I don't get all the Try to get your bets on for Ferguson. Yeah, score. I would oh, love God. to see them play, start well back because we slagging off Darwin. Well, you know, not even well play, back. To be quite honest, Welbeck's been picked over him a lot of times this season. Which you know, considering that Ferguson's yeah. supposed to be this next superstar, is quite surprising. No, I agree. But, um, um, wait, wait. Um, do you rate? It? Does anyone rate well crap on this panel? By the way, just I really want to wind up Simon. No, we're gonna we're jinxing it now. No, we no. need to stop. No, I don't. But we Welbeck played saying? eighty minutes. And uh, Ferguson only played 10, 15 minutes the other night. So I think Ferguson will start. I think mm. that's just how, how he rotates his team. You can tell by and, the subs. Might yeah, might and be. you rate well crap. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Not as a really? goal scorer. Not as a goal scorer. As, as what then? As what? A <laughs> striker. A an attacker. An attacker. Uh, it, brings okay. a lot of, it brings a lot of other players into it. He's a good attacker. But it's not, it's not a goal scorer. Chat, do you rate world crap, chat? Let me know in the chat. Do you rate world crap or not? Yeah, well, uh, let's put it this way. He's a Premier League player, probably on over £100,000 a week, and has been for many, many years. He can't be that bad, can he? Sure. Okay, well, Anthony's on about 250 k a week. I'm not going to exactly... Oh, yeah. Okay, I retract that. Better. Yeah, that's another one I retract. <laughs> <laughs> another <laughs> argument. I retract. Retracting and revisionism. Owen's saying, yes, world crap is, a great, is great as a lone Don't striker. You call me names if you can't put your face on screen, young man. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. I was, you know what I'm doing. Shut up. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> it's a weekend. Okay. <laughs> um, crypto, what's the score? Well, by the way, this isn't the end because Ant wants to talk about something. I have no idea what it is and I'm worried. <laughs> God, crypto, call the score on this one. Uh, is, is this going to the real crypto or crypto to my left? <laughs> What? Oh, no, you. Anyway, you were saying. <laughs> you know, I've got, like, I feel it's a weird feeling because I've got like the fake crypto on one side and Ted Bundy on the other side. 
a, it's a bit it's a scary situation. Um, Wait, is Rob frozen? Rob's frozen. Is he there? No. Are you <laughs> like, he was literally I'm frozen. reading the comments. He's playing kickoff two in the background, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you go, Crypto. Uh, well, uh, I think we're gonna win. I think uh I think we're gonna win. I think we're gonna win well. I'm gonna say three nil to Forest. Three nil. All right. Before we do the rest of the scores and chat, start getting them in. I'm really worried because I I don't know what this is about, right? But Ant wants to talk about something. So I'm assuming if you're no, under 18, now's a good time no, to no, log no. off. Right? No. It's, it's I, not, I'm just I'm getting what? the warnings out, man. I don't know what he's going to say. Is he going to yeah, talk yeah, about Tyro to Sheffield yeah. again or <laughs> what? Uh, it, it could be that, Jonathan. It could be that. Yeah, I can't. I genuinely have no idea what this is, but I don't think I'm going to let Ant start talking about it until we get another 10 likes because we're on 150 likes. And there's 450 of you in here. Oh, and there's guys. 200. We'll, dislike. we'll take dislikes. Yeah, yeah, dislikes are good. Yeah. We've got 200 yeah. on Twitter. Make sure you're following on Twitter as well. Um, okay, I'm, I'm going off screen for this. And um, what, what, what? Yeah, the trouble is you've built it up to be something really interesting. It is, it's not that interesting or controversial. No, it's just that there was an article by Paul Taylor in The Athletic today. I don't know if everybody's seen it. But evidently, according to his sources, and he normally is very well sourced at Nottingham Forest, um, we have no intention of buying Montiel, Origi or Tavares, but we will be buying Ribeiro. Obviously, Reina's not even in the conversation. He'll, he'll be going back, obviously. But we are determined to buy Ribeiro, but we are not interested in buying any of the others. And I, I was quite surprised by that. And that was it, really. It sounds like BS, though, because Nuno loves Tavares. Yeah, I know, but I'm only going on Paul Taylor, the athletic mate. I've got no inside information. And normally, he he's good. Depends so, what the deal is for Tavares, doesn't it? But he uh, does seem I to be, be very salary, yeah, salary, very high, salary at it? Arsenal might be quite high. I don't know. Mm, yeah. I, I don't know. But he's, yeah. For me, he's number one on the team sheet. I didn't, it, you know the <laughs> fullback thing? It's a, it's a, I mean, <laughs> I in, in that position, in that position, obviously, I wouldn't put him ahead of uh, Taiwo as, you know. But, you know, in the fullback position, I think it's really tough because Aina Toffolo, Tavares, Montiel, Williams, for me, they're all decent. I was trying to think earlier because presumably we're going to get rid of a fullback. We don't need five. Who do you get rid of? Montiel. Well, I mean, Nico, I think yeah, he's, if Nico is fighting no, to show he can do a good job at that right hand side. Yeah. I think he, I think yeah, he's he really to show that, But before Montiel was. Mm -hmm. Toffolo's good. We think Aina's probably... Montiel's not played enough games. Yeah. Montiel's not played enough games. That's the problem. We had, we had an agreement. Fun, if, he play, yeah. if he played half of Forest Premier League games, it was an automatic uh, compulsion signing. I know, but He's we were saying here a few months ago saying Montiel's the next big thing. Yeah, I, I'm, not talking about, I'm not talking about what I would do. I'm just saying that that is the noises that have come out today. That those three, and I was surprised. I thought Tavares would be kept. I thought Montiel would be kept, to be honest. Yeah, but Montiel's injury problems have been an issue, haven't they, man? That's He's true. missed far too and, many games. And his mistakes. He has got some mistakes in him. He has. He has. Yeah. Um, but and, I also and, agree about Nico's, Nico's form as well. I think Nico's, Nico's really form's looking yeah, Nico's, well. yeah. Nico's definitely. Let's, let's answer this question from Georgie Boy. Seeing that you got an agenda, as it's oh, interesting because mm -hmm. <laughs> Chris no. Wood's contract's up this summer, isn't it? I asked this yeah. question a few. Oh, this few needs weeks, a poll. Few this few needs years. a poll. Go on, let's kick this one off. Oh, come on. No, we want to see if he's going to score any more goals between now and the end of the season. No, 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 no. puppets, man. Ed wouldn't even Ed. play him. Ed wouldn't play him. How's he going to score any goals? No, I didn't say that. Don't... I don't put words in my mouth. Don't uh, straw man me. <laughs> right, but no, uh, when I get in his mouth, it doesn't belong there. When I, when I extend his contract, it does depend on how he finishes off the season. Um, Fence. Another, another one with injury problems, another one with injury mm. issues. But is he the backup to Tywo going forward? I don't think that's the solution. And even if we are looking at Ribeiro, is he the direct backup for Tywo? If we're keeping to, oh, if we're sending him 50 million, like uh, I'm just going to do. Huh? That's not the question. Well, what is the question? Break it down for me. Come on, then. Would you re-sign Wood? Yes or no? I wouldn't extend his contract, no. Not not unless agenda. he finishes the what season agenda? well. He's got to finish the season well. I can't agenda. do it. I wouldn't do it right now. 
You can't just. I'm saying right now, today. Right now, I wouldn't know. Right now, I wouldn't. You can't. You can't have two strikers. Mm. Of course you can. Rob, you well, need well, two you strikers. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, you can't uh, just have two strikers in the team. If Tywa gets well, injured, you can't have one backup because then there'll be another striker crisis yeah, next week. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, sorry, sorry. I thought you meant you can't have as many as two. No, you, you need, need more. Just two. You need at least yeah. three. Leaving yeah. aside the fact that this decision isn't going to be made until the summer, you're saying what would we do now? Right I here, right now, it's yeah, now. Right, my answer, is, my, my, answer is yes. my answer is yes, because basically if you say Ooh. to Wood, you've got no future at this club after this season, then you're not going to get great performances out of him between now no, and the no, end no, of no, the season. Right. Well, get political, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. and try and freaking do this. No, I just, said yes. I just gave you an answer. answer. If you win the election, no, we'll give you a tax card. card. Don't give us your crap there, man. I'm talking right here, right now. It's the summer. Yeah, the season's I, ended. I, I his wages lower, though. His Wood, wages Wood is not aware of it. Wood, Wood is not aware of this discussion. Hypothetically. I bet he's watching. He knows I'm his number one fan. mind. Well, if, if, if he's watching this, he's going to retire next what, week. Look, let's put it this way. With Wood, <laughs> are any of us worried about him losing his pace? He's already no. lost. He's already exactly. lost. I'm worried about, exactly. I'm worried about so he wages he's done. Well, he could age well. This is all I'm saying. My, my, so, is my that a yes or no? I would say sign him, yes. Keep him on. On his wages? 90k? No, I want him on about don't, half don't, the wages he's on now. Don't... don't take my argument I, i'm i'm ready <laughs> all right let, let's go to you next then Ant. would you sign word my answer is despite what i said earlier on my answer is no because i, I think what? i would agenda i would no because i would prefer no i said what we need now is that's why i said about tywo it's not how good it's what we need right now i would say that i would prefer a younger up-and-comer quicker striker and also <laughs> somebody on a lot less money than he's on Who's going to be more up and coming than Wood? They might not be any good. They won't have any experience. We need an experienced striker as our backup striker. So what are you saying, Crypto? I'd I'd sign him on for another year. On what wages? Wow. Well, the wages are. It doesn't matter about the wages. If you know, yeah, get Rob. Yeah, you know yeah, what? Yeah. How much is done a week? What, yeah, but get, get Rob. Why do you? Council Why do you dismiss all this stuff as if it doesn't matter? We're in PSR trouble because of. Don't take a ten if million pound loan. loan if it means, loan if it don't worry about what, awards and wages. If what, and, I mean, you shouldn't bring Mangala into this. You know, that's that's too yeah, far. Yeah, because we should have kept um, Mangala. Full stop. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to get onto the Mangala debate. But if, if, if Andrew Andrew is on the Mangala, they, they don't want to start on the Mangala, do they? We're not starting on the Mangala. If Hans right about the athletic thing that we're getting rid of Montiel wages and Origi and maybe Tavares, I can't see that one, but. There's going to be wages freed up. I understand what you mean. Normally, a player would take less wages as a as a re-signing at the end of the season. That's fine, but you need a backup striker who has experience. You can't just say, "Let's go out and get a new up and coming young striker who's on low wages." And who's that? Well, that's Ribeiro, isn't it? Ribeiro. You need Ribeiro, another one. Yeah. You don't just need one. Yeah, I know. You can't no, have I agree. Two I agree. We should be going. What words in my mouth, young man? I didn't say just one. You need you need experience there. So you're gonna yeah, get not... so you're gonna get are you gonna get an inexpensive goal scoring <laughs> striker with experience. Where are you find it in from? For, 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 for Forest, it's, with, there's no there's no fee there's no there's no buy fee. You're just paying someone who's experienced and wages. They can afford to do that. It's worth it. I mean, I wouldn't get Gagpo. That's that's yeah. What's that's not Chris good, Woods? In, what's Chris Woods injury record this season? Who cares about injury record? What what's what's everyone else's injury record? How, how, is, how is he? How is he a backup? How is he a reliable backup for another you season? Said you I don't understand. How is he a backup? You wouldn't even have him by on the way, pitch. Crypto, by the way, I, I I don't have a problem with keeping Wood. There you go. You can do at your age, mate. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, yeah. man. You want to bet? Sorry. Oh, <laughs> that was too oh. easy, man. You gave him an open goal, and you gave him an open goal. Yeah, I know, but I thought you, I thought you, you I, mean, I forgot he's only 22. I forgot. I don't mess with jeans before the action gets started, mate. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> anyway.
<laughs> oh, I'm so funny. I'm so funny. All right, my answer is I would, under no circumstances, re-sign Wood next season. There you go. Nice, simple, straight answer. You like that agenda. Yeah, fair enough. That's no, fair he's enough. too old. He's too old. That's better. Go get oh, Garassi. Day two, I think. You're worried That's about him cool. losing his pace. He's younger I'm than not. me. I'm worried about him losing his wood. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't anyway, think too old. Chris S, think how are you, bud? Hope you're well. Shit injury record, but isn't he our top goal scorer? Yeah. yeah, so what? Freaking Rasmus Hoyland's man, he's top goal scorer. It doesn't make him good. Yeah, but... and he's their yeah, best striker. Crap, Chris, Crap, Chris oh, Wood is their best more than that whole team. Chris yeah. Wood would walk into Man United tomorrow along with Deserby. Yeah, he wouldn't he's run, that's run for sure. <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait. Right. I we, got, we got way over. over you, we got way oh, over. Right. Ed's predictions. Chat, get your predictions in very quickly. Ed's. Uh, I will take a draw, so I'm going to go for a draw one all. Agenda. And 2-1 mm -hmm. <laughs> Forest. Crypto, you already did yours. 3-0. I think I said 3-0. 3-0. Yeah. Hi, Rob. Well, um, Ted. Ted. Unfortunately, uh, well, my predictions never come true. So I'm going to predict three two to Brighton, and we'll be complaining oh, about the ref. Uh, if you, why would you How say would that? And then if it's three two, you like? yeah, you're no, just going to be like, right, right, it's never going to be three two. To happen. That's yeah. better. That's better. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. that. <laughs> Don't give me a chance to come back. Oh. <laughs> None of why my predictions that? come true. None of my predictions come true. Right, other than Trump winning my the news. election and Brexit, so, but my 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 sporting <laughs> predictions are <laughs> so not bring politics into it. <laughs> Rob, no, Rob was the driving force behind Brexit. I, I just uh, no, because I know what Rob's doing. Rob, it's so obvious. You're setting it up that if we now go and lose three two, you're going to be like, "Well, I hate to say I told you so." No, but I don't think in that voice as well. That, that sound like is that, is that my voice? Yeah, it is yeah. what you sound like. Right? It is what you sound like. <laughs> No, his voice is more like Zippy. There. <laughs> Zippy! <laughs> like There's plenty Mitchell of evidence exactly. from this season for a 3-2 defeat where we're complaining about the ref. I hope it's something... He's right different. on that. He's right. I, I just, I just got to say, Rob, right? Yeah, you're on you're on shaky grounds. Right? I've never seen so many Rob-loving comments since your Churchillian speech last week. Yeah, Over, over 2K views on your right. short. On your shorts, over 2k views and like 6,000. My dad, my dad, Twitter. I 2.3, Rob. I mean, I'm not saying. Oh, he's wood measuring oh. now, isn't he? <laughs> he's wood measuring. There we go. Big, big Mark. Big Mark. <laughs> Did you really? Have? have you actually looked at the numbers on his shorts? Of course he has. I was trying to find the, um, the PSR thing between you and Rob so that I could watch it. and I, <laughs> But the shorts were up there and I just looked at them and I thought, oh. I'm surprised at that. I thought Rob would get ten, you know, tens of thousands. He deserved it, mate. He deserved to get tens of thousands. I, I don't. I just roughly know the numbers from just seeing it the other day on some stats, man. He came two point three <laughs> as an exact. Anyway, but Rob, I'm just saying, right? I've seen so many Rob, Rob for Prime Minister, all this shit, and now you've gone and dropped a three today, to Rob, Brighton. No, no, you're that's seriously to now. Happening. That's to stop it from happening. I what if it does? I want them to get the backlash from our last game. And I fully hope that we can give it to them. And I am an optimist, but uh, I think... How can you be an optimist? You just predicted we'd lose. We were expecting a lot to go there and win uh, when they've had 11 games undefeated there. No, I, would, I, would I would happily take a point from this game. I would. I would. I wouldn't. Yeah. I'm saying I'm is we're going to smash them. We are going to smash them. It is going to be... I think it will be 4-1. Right, but I think it. I put three one on the predictor just to cover my back, so that when four one comes in, I'm gonna be annoyed that we beat them, but not really annoyed. Do you know what I'm saying? I honestly yeah, think exactly. if Sangare plays, I'm not gonna piss off after chat now. If Sangare plays, yeah, don't even waste your time watching the match. Just count the three points. There, I've said it. I've said watch him get sent off now. No, I'm, I'm exactly. in Rob's point. <laughs> I'm screwed now. Man. How can, you, how can you be an optimist and predict downfall? Because, as I've said, my <laughs> predictions never come true. So if I predict the worst case scenario, I now know that that will not happen. Did you predict but, yeah, Brexit would be out or in? That's like well, I predicted it. it would be out, but I campaigned okay. for in. So there you go. Okay, so you predicted something's got it right. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, on that bombshell, we'll call it a night. We will see you guys. I don't know if there's any videos tomorrow because it's uh, it's my dad's birthday party with the uh, ten grandchildren. Really looking forward to that one. Uh, <laughs> happy birthday, happy birthday, Make older. Sure you get a burger, mate. Happy Wolverine, yeah. And uh, we will see you maybe tomorrow, if not sometime on Sunday for the watch along. Uh, we we need to talk to Rob backstage now and just <laughs> set him straight on this three two. Hit that like button, subscribe to Forest Fan TV if you are new, and enjoy your weekend. Come on, you Reds! You, you Reds! Reds!